Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be discussing a content marketing hack that can help you drive massive amounts of traffic in a very short amount of time. Now, Medium, if you don't already know, is one of the most popular content publishing platforms. You can sign up completely for free and actually republish your existing content on there to reach the millions of users that come to medium.com every month. They also have a massive domain authority, which is really good for organic traffic and SEO. So what you can actually do is republish your content on there, reach a bigger audience without actually creating anything new. And that's exactly what I'll be showing you how to do in this video, essentially republishing your content properly because you can do it wrong to get more traffic to your website, landing page, or other asset. To begin, go on to medium.com and sign up for a free account. You can edit your profile to include a high quality avatar and bio that describes you or your business. And after that, your account is set up. It's as quick as that. And then you can actually click your profile icon and the new story option. And what I want you to do is begin by pasting in the headline of your existing article and then paste in the body. But make sure to go through the medium post and look for any formatting errors. Sometimes when you're pasting in content, it can incorrectly format. And then there's gonna be some errors um, depending on where it was originally written. You can also use Medium's import function by clicking your profile picture, stories, and then import a story. Paste in the URL of the story, whether it's WordPress, Wix, and so on, and then click the import button. Feel free to edit it after, just in case there's any kind of errors once again. And then your job isn't done just yet. What I want you to do is add a link at the bottom of the article telling readers where to go to see the original post. This will help drive traffic back to the blog while also telling search engines where it was originally published. And you're gonna do one more thing to do just that because a huge problem with Medium is that sometimes it can actually take over your organic rankings. And to get around this, we're gonna be setting a canonical link in the Medium settings. So if you click the three dots, when you're writing any story, you can go to settings, advanced settings, and then paste in the URL at the very bottom to tell Medium and Google where it originally comes from. And essentially it'll rank your original article over the Medium one instead of cannibalizing your own rankings. Either way, just click the publish button when you are done and then set a featured image, adjust the subtitle if you'd like. And you can also change the title tag and meta description in the settings. Add some tags that are relevant to the article. This will help expand your reach more click the publish button and your story is live. It's literally as simple as that. You can be instantly reaching more people and driving more traffic to your website, landing page, or another asset just by actually republishing your content onto Medium. But the main thing is that you do set that canonical link or you can end up just outranking yourself in the SERPs. I've seen it with clients and I actually did it back in the day with myself, but it's an amazing way to instantly double your traffic in most cases. And then you're growing this huge following on Medium that you can send back to your blog landing pages, start collecting leads, driving sales, and it's an amazing way just to make more use out of your content and repurpose it to make it really, really efficient. But other than that, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Make sure to get my free courses in the description, and I'll see you in the next one.